Okay guys, this is the Hori Fighting Commander 3 Pro. So it's got some uh, unique features like uh, an, adjust an adjustable D-pad. You can actually change the angle this goes. It's got turbo. It's got a uh, unique handling system. Uh, and also you can program the buttons, the shoulder buttons, so that this becomes L1 and L2. That way everything concerning inputs is here. Button inputs and then everything concerning motions is here. So that you don't get confused. But the main reason I really got this for fighting games, and in this instance uh, Skullgirls, is because of the six face buttons. If you're using a traditional uh, controller, uh, like an Xbox type controller, usually you'll have four face buttons. So this means you'll be using just your thumbs for uh, thumbs for this set of face buttons here. And then the other thumb for the D-pad, and then your index fingers for the first set of shoulder buttons, and then your middle finger for the next set. The problem with this is your right thumb is overworked. So you gotta go crazy to do some of the things that fighting games require you to do. And I mean, how about all three punch, all three kick stuff? It's gonna be pretty annoyingly hard. Also, if you're doing motions using your left thumb, and then you have to input on the left shoulder buttons, this is very weird. It feels weird, it's it always results in some sort of failed input. So this controller, although it's good for adventure games, racing games, shooters. It's just no good for fighting games. And especially when it comes to this, the trigger buttons. Uh, they're kind of crap when you're ha you have to do like a Shoryuken or a Hadouken. Because the input's gonna get delayed. Because of just how far this trigger goes up, bounces up. I mean, it's great for shooters. I like it when I pull like pull a bowstring in Skyrim and stuff like that. It feels somewhat authentic. But fighting games? No, that's not going to work. Which is why something like this is better for fighting games. Also, when you look at the layout, uh, it's easy to configure it to the basic configuration. And that way, you can develop your muscle memory better. Because light punch is going to be here, medium punch, hard punch, light kick. Medium kick, hard kick. It's easy. And then you can do throws. Tag 1, tag 2, assist 1, assist 2, push block, supers. Easy. And if you want, you can program this for macros like um, tag 1, tag 2, or assist 1, assist 2. It's up to you. Basically, I just stick to this. Uh, one other advantage this has is the D-pad is pretty soft. You're not gonna get calluses using this, as opposed to other controllers. Although if your thumb is really sensitive, then you can maybe use something like this. It's like a joint protector. You can uh, slip it over your thumb. might look a bit silly, but if you don't want calluses, if you have a sensitive thumb, then go for this. So you can use your joint, or the tip of your thumb, and then do those crazy ass Hadouken and Shoryuken motions. So, I'll explain this. So, notice that the left handle is much longer than the right one. Why is that? 
That's because this is meant to support your hand while your thumb does the uh, motions, the bad motions. Whereas with this, this is supposed to rest on one thigh, really, like this, and this snags like the edge of your thigh. And then your fingers are free to do the inputs. So imagine this is your right thigh, kind of. Uh, rests like that and then you can do your button inputs it's pretty good design actually and you can still hold it normally and use your thumbs but it kind of defeats the purpose of the layout so other things to note about this controller it's out of stock <laughs> so I thought this controller was like um, pretty common because it was like all over the place in my country anyway but when you look online it's kind of hard to find now because the Hori online store doesn't carry it anymore it doesn't even uh, even like the most current version of this controller the fighting commander 4 it's also out of stock so there's a link and uh, the first screen I showed you, there's a link there for the for Amazon. There's a few people still selling this controller, so you can go there if you want. But I got this from a video game store, and yeah, it's a good buy. Uh, there are some complaints that it's flimsy, but I've had this one for four years and it's still good. I just take care of it. Um, you know nicely I don't throw it when I'm angry I don't like uh, I mean I've dropped it probably once but that was by accident and uh, I don't use it when my hands are dirty also once I'm done with it I don't just like loop the cord over the controller that's kind of bad make sure to, like the loops I make are uh, wide that way you don't damage the cables also I got this uh, plastic thing that goes over the connector, the USB connector. That way it doesn't get rusty or doesn't get moisture on it. And I ditched the box this originally came in and I bought this. It's actually a food container but it fits the controller nicely. Also you'll notice that there's this uh, moisture absorbing packet. That way the controller doesn't get affected by humidity which is a factor in my country because I live in I live in the tropics. So yeah, fits nicely. Moisture packet there. There we go, that's watertight. And in case I drop it, it's relatively shockproof. So take care of it and it takes care of you. And yeah, that's the Hori Fighting Commander 3 Pro. The controller, my controller of choice for Skullgirls. Okay, this is the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 3, my fight stick of choice for Skullgirls. Uh, in case you're wondering why it's also a Hori, like the controller I showed earlier, um, it's the only brand available in my country, or at least in the video game stores that I frequent. Uh, other brands you could probably try, well, there's Mad Cats, Peroki in Korea, uh, Kanba in China. If you want Kanba products, you can go with 8ARC which imports the Kanba sticks and rebrands them. Uh, they have good sticks too. The reason I chose this stick is it's cheap. It's like a transitional stick where uh, I wasn't sure I really wanted a stick but I kind of wanted to try a stick because I wanted to be able to play in arcades which uses sticks and not pads. So. I got this and uh, it's good I like it 
so it's pretty small as you can see. This is an Asian hat. So <laughs> that's really small. Uh, one advantage one advantage to that is it's easy to carry around and store as opposed to a standard fight stick which is really big. Uh, another advantage is it's light. This advantage is when you're placing it on your lap, if you move around a lot while you're doing joystick motions, it's liable to fall between your legs. So you have to sit up straight while you're using this. Uh, or you can get like buy a platform and attach it to the base and then put that on your lap. That's another option. Uh, although that would kind of take away the easy to store ability of this stick. So what I do is I actually place this on my right thigh and then I put my little finger here and then put my ring finger here trapping effectively trapping the stick like this and then my other fingers go on top of the stick thumb goes on the other side this way I can manipulate the stick do motions and kind of stay still while I'm resting it on my right thigh and then my other hand is free to do the inputs uh, so yeah you can do the layout is nice so that you can easily uh, memorize the general layout for fighting games which is slide punch, medium punch, hard punch, light kick, medium kick, hard kick. Then you can use these for macros if you use them. So in Skullgirls, uh, this will be throw, this will be tag 1, tag 2, assist 1, assist 2, uh, push blocks, like this too, right? And then 360s. It's pretty good. Uh, I shall notice if you handle this, it's a square gate. This might put off some octagonal gate lovers, but I kind of like this because it's really accurate. Besides, it clicks to let you know where you are. So down, down forward, forward, up forward, up, up back, back, down back. Nice. I've had this for about four years and it hasn't failed on me. Only real complaint I have about this is the buttons are super noisy. So if you kind of like uh, have a roommate or a girlfriend or a wife or a kid who stays with you in the same room during nighttime gonna end up waking them up with the noises. It's super noisy. Uh, that's the only complaint I have about this stick anyway. Also has a turbo function but I don't use that. Uh, you could if you wanted to but it's not allowed in competitions. Uh, storing the stick is easy. I actually just got this food container to put it in. Uh, if you're wondering why there's a rubber chicken in there, that's because I need to... It doesn't really fit the stick perfectly because of the cable, so I end up I, think I ended up using that rubber chicken to get the stick at an angle. And there. And I also have these moisture absorbing packets to counter humidity. I don't want humidity killing the circuitry inside because I live in a tropical country. And now I should take care of the stick. It's gonna take care of you. So just store it nicely like this. Shock waterproof. Yeah. That's it. That's the Hori Fighting Stick Mini 3. The stick I use for Skullgirls. Oh by the way I didn't get paid to do 
like advertise Hori products or anything. I just like them because they are reliable. Personal opinion. And that's it.